Hi guys, this is part two of my um, uh, first day of autumn orchid tour. I was um, rudely cut off by the alarm on my phone, so I just have to. I have no choice but to make part two. I don't want to do the um, redo all over again what I did. So, so this is part two. This is my Bilara Howard dreams. Marfits, I think that's how you say it. I tried to memorize the names of them, but ugh, hard. It's in Spike. Look at that. Yeah. It's in Spike. But I'm very happy that, you know, I can uh, rebloom. I can rebloom um, Ancidium here, Ancidium type orchid. And it has a baby as well. Yeah. Awesome. This is a seedling. The first ever Vanda seedling. It was so tiny. There's only height when it arrived here. So tiny. It's still doing okay. And this is the um, Schumburgia Debicenis from um, Tropical Orchid Farm. Look at that. It's growing a new baby. And the older one have sunburns. I feel bad. But they'll be okay. I'll just put her in this um hydro hydroton play pellets and I'm just observing this. But it's been here since and it has a new one, this one. It's a new cane. So I just leave it at that. And my uh oh ugly spotted leaves um uh the yellow butterfly wildcat thing it's spiking again yeah there's a second spike on my care I'm happy and this is my um maxillaria tenifolia look at that got this one from Luigi's nursery in Connecticut. And it has a lot of growth on me, in my care. One, two, and then the one in here, the extension. Nice. That one I hadn't repot yet. I'm not sure if I need to because it has a new growth. This is the dendrobium part of the one that's from Camella Orchid, the dendrobium. I, I look at their pictures. Oh my God, this one has a beautiful picture. And the names actually um not chasen is dendrobium chase ray I think chase ray because um when I look at the pictures it's actually R I and then they miss the um, the 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 part in there when you do the quotation marks thing like that so and that's the gold I don't know what S and W means but that's the one. I just made it like clear in there. Yeah, that's the name. And and they actually put a lot of um slow release fertilizer in that thing. And it has a new growth, so I'm not sure yet if I have to repot it or not. Figure it out later. And these are two when I bought this one in um in Trader Joe's Trader Joe's. There um this two is in one pot. And this is the that yellow dancing lady. Look at that. And and I separated them. And it's one of them have new babies. This one have two babies. That one only have one. I compare this one to the internet picture. And this is the Ancidesa dancing lady sweet sugar. This one I know. This one I have to bring this back outside. They can take. I don't mind if the leaves stand burn. They're gonna lose it anyway. So I just want them to get the maximum strength from the sun. Yeah, this is. Um, I only have two Catacetni type orchid right here. I'm not sure if I really, uh, if I like them. You know, if I can grow them, but supposedly great for a person like me, Lisa, because you don't have to take care of them all year round. They can just when they're sleeping, you know. 
you don't have to take care of them as, that much this is the Catacetum Noir Beauty um, from Tropical Orchid Farm I think if I let me see yeah Tropical Orchid Farm that's their um, initial and this is um a miniature one just look uh, but at least the um, the new growth is bigger than the previous one yeah probably no bloom this year if if it blooms I'll be so happy and I will tell you about that <laughs> and this one is the big one see the old growth is um it looks like um so tiny compared to the new growth the new growth is like four times the size of the previous one this is the one I think I got from um from Hauserman yeah orchid by Hauserman it's a nudist Taiwan gold Taiwan orange this is gonna be pretty I saw the picture and it has another BB thing over there I don't know where it came from maybe a seed or something I don't know it's just so tiny and it's not the normal growth that I see on them and this one is a recovering sunborn recovering um, Tygopedalum again this won't bloom this time because it was just awful awful awfully abused from the outside it doesn't like outside I mean I did not mean for them to go outside if I just have some um, you know if I didn't have to go to vacation I I wouldn't my delicate orchids I would not subject it to the element outside but I have no choice that's why they have to suffer I'm so sorry guy or girl little girl yeah but I have to go away sometime this one are my um babies my um I just um uh, separate them from their mother they have so long of a growth already this is a dendrobiums they have their names individual I don't have to um say them right now this one he got sunburn she's an adult that one she flowered already this is the epidendrum centropetalum and this one and uh, the back bulb of the um, million stripes I have to remove that too because um it looks um funky and it's kind of like almost separating by itself so I just remove it so that's a back bulb from it and this one I have this one as a very very tiny it's an insidium very tiny there is no pseudobulb it's only like like this in here and a year later look at that it has a new pseudobulb and that pseudobulb grew another pseudobulb got some kind of um disease in there but I scratch it off and clean it and put cinnamon in it it seems to be um, drying out and this one it looks like it's a separate plant to me it's wobbly before and now it's growing a new baby a new baby uh, anyway I got this one from I don't even know my husband ordered this for me in the internet in my Santa's wish list and I don't know who's the seller. He ordered it from my wish list. I said, "This is the Wilsonara Finial Fire Clown." Look at that. And I look at the picture. That's why I put it in my w list because the picture are like just beautiful red. Yeah, and Wilsonara. Yeah, I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's gonna bloom soon because it has um at least um good two new pseudo bulbs now. I don't like the leaves, though. like any other ancillium. They do that thing in their leaves. Ugh. These are my um bark I use. The big ones in this one that's from from um these are from Lowe's, the better grow. And some of them are really huge. And I just cut them. I don't use this trim, I use the other one, the big one. Yeah, hard. I cut them up and just put them in here when I repot and this is my um ho uh, ho so I, I prune my Hawaiian umbrella yeah isn't it Hawaiian umbrella from indoors and I just 
stuff this in this jar and it took root and that one maybe, maybe my sister wants that one oh, I don't know this one here I need to water this again she blooms for me many times now this is the Adsidium Rix Van Dilden Pink Bees fragrant I got this one as a blooming size and it's been blooming away but the, I don't like the spots in the leaves that's why I did not want to um, fertilize her for now because I've always been fertilizing her and flush once in a while and then it's just too much Ugh. this one is almost done I've just, I've just call it done spike this is the newest one yeah and then there's um, five babies in there five babies and the other side five babies and um, this one here I oh my god this is so abused baby but it recovered nicely even have a sunburn in there and I have to cut all the leaves that got sunburned and I thought this one's gonna die but oh my goodness it still had a fight left in this baby this is a sherry baby the chocolate orchid this is the red fantasy this has a five new growth now it's getting lushier and lushier and I put her in the big big container because she's gonna be like my Ancidium Catatantium uh, Cata as well as she's gonna turn into a big Bertha as well and this one here is growing this baby in here maturing I'm not too too happy about there like you know it doesn't it doesn't like outside it develop this disease kind of thing I need her to take care of it just cut it out and cultivate the wound or something we'll leave this here and she have some sunburn as well hmm. we'll see I'll go out inside now let's see just for a short time pause for a while I mean this one I can't forget her I separated her because um this is one of the dendrobium I got from um, Carmela and this one it has um hitchhiker and it it's not so bad it's the um, mealybugs and it has a small spike it's growing it's continued to grow I did not um repeat it yeah but I separated her for um many days since I found the um, mealybugs eggs that started hatching it was just the uh, it's just the beginning stage of their hatching it was in the in these leaves right here and I've been like um spraying it with Listerine gold um, three or four times already and just put them and I haven't seen some now so I think I eradicate it I hope so that I can do let this um, join in the general population of my orchid yeah okay then let's move on this is part of my dining area guys that I allotted to my orchid growing my husband just surrender <laughs> he can't fight the orchid <laughs> it's an orchid world these are the baby yeah, this is the um, Dendrobium um, st uh, Stratures um, Antelope type baby. It's a baby Rasuglosum rhodongester orchids from Orchids by Hauserman. And this one here, the Sumburkia, that's from the Tropical Orchid Farm. It's still baby. And that's a bunch of. Um, um, I grew from a leaf cutting the African violets and that's my um, experiment dendrobium is all right and I just watered this um, false in the bark medium today the done blooming yeah this is my um, sleeping dolphin there's one dolphin left right there look at that it does look like a dolphin and it's sleeping <laughs> Look at that, my leaping dolphin. That's a lot of new growth. And look at all these house plants. House plants in the wall. That can't be good. 
and this is my oh I love this um gongora from tropical orchid farm this is the they have something special going on just the thing <laughs> special going on they're making babies this is the Korean this yeah that's one that one it's a slow grower this one and that's the dendrobium spectabile this is the last growth oh my god it's the fattest of all and here are all my false lies <laughs> sounds like they're dead that's a i feature this one this is the phalaenopsis and over passion yeah and they just pan out in there not, nothing worth to mention i think except for this belina i have to move her there because like the previous space is getting brighter and brighter and it's good for the dendrobiums oh bad background light i'm sorry guys but she's there and that one there oh the pride and joy oh my god it's been so long six or seven months something like that it's a blooming i only lost one right here it, it died that one the, that no it has nine blooms now she's still going strong like that got all the falls they're just waiting for their time to bloom they're chilling out I have two, these two here, these are the um, Cycopsis, that one there, look at that, there's a um, bloom right there, yeah, there's a miniature palm. that was just a pretty bloom, almost done a red um, flowered um, Christmas cactus African violets this one this is the first time I, I've seen the flowers I rescued that one from Lowe's look at that it's a autumn you can see all my harvest pumpkins squashes like that uh, ripened tomatoes <laughs> look at that and that one what else this one also I'm so glad I didn't <laughs> rescue the same colored balls it's the first time I've seen that too this one become the single -o. one that survived the rest of the bloom fell out but her yeah, I'm gonna transfer her to a semi hydro too because she's leaning. She's leaning over there. I didn't like it that much. And update on my um um uh hang on, what's the name? What's your name? The one who got sick when I was in vacation, the Coculiantis Amazonica. I tried and saved it because she had a beautiful, healthy root at the time when I um, rescued it. Supposedly, yeah, I tried and rescued it, but it didn't make it. Eventually, the disease took over. Oh, I'm so mad at that. But anyway, I'll try again. Yeah, if I see her, I'm going to buy again. Yeah, she's a gunner. And this one here, oh, she's not just a gunner, she is gone, gone, gone. This one, look how lush she is now, the green. Yeah, I just don't like that spots in the leaves. Got her from um, Tropical Orchid Farm. This is another, um, what's it, Gongora? Coriantis, this is a Coriantis. And this is from the 
I bought this one from the or uh, what's that? the the show, the orchid show that I attended. Is the Stanhopia Embryai Natural World? Oh no. Oh yeah, I bought this in there. Yeah, I bought that in there. That's right. And I bought that basket with it too. Yeah. And look at all this. Such climbing vines in the wall. And this is my bamboo. Lucky bamboo. I just move it in here. It's kind of hindrance in my vision in, in the center of that dining table. So I just move her in the corner. She didn't mind to be in the dark in a way. Bunch of African violets. This one I need to put this in the semi hydro. System the moss. This baby here is another. I have to angle this so that I get the light. Stanhopia, bird of prey from Tropical Orchid Farm. Got so much leaves now. And a couple of babies and they're growing, like this one and that one. Yep. This is my um Rincostylus Celestis. Ah oh, no, Rincostylus retosa. Yeah, that's a baby. Who cares about the baby? I do care about the baby. <laughs> Sorry. This is the white fall. Huge, huge leaf fall. And this one here, some pals that's just resting, growing leaves. Nothing special, just growing leaves. <laughs> of course, they're special, the growing leaves. And this one is a new baby of this Dendrobium Violet Yamaginalo. Oh my god, this I look at the picture in this one, it's gorgeous. One of the parents, I, I think it's um, if I remember, I have to check it again when it flowers, but I just remember that the the pollen parent of this one is the um, spectabili the dendrobium spectabili it's really gorgeous purple flower that's why I let this stay indoors and I I repotted it and with this baby in there that's good and this is the Ema white uh, dendrobium Ema white mutation then fall can't wait for this bloom I like I like her so much bloom and this one here she had a beautiful bloom as well oh my god when I look at them in the internet or uh, in Carmilla's yeah I, I I did went to type Google and then put me to Carmilla's pictures Carmilla orchids picture then Genting Royale the Drodium Genting Royale she's gorgeous as well yeah, this one you saw her um some of her parts and the division over there and the back bulbs, the million stripes, just a normal. And that one, the antelope type. Yeah, she had a beautiful bloom as well. The antelope type, the gorgeous is the Lori Mortimer. The Lori Mortimer. Yeah, it's my recovering. It's my recovering uh, Miltoniopsis in the semi hydro. It's doing well in there. And this one here that's escaping root. She's alright. And this one, I I thought she's gonna die. This is the um, pyloric zygo that I have. And this baby in here, I think it's gonna save this whole plant because it has um uh three or four new roots right there it likes in the semi hydro so that's what i'm gonna do and leave her be in there oh my god this beautiful plant the fall oh my god i could just keep turning around because the leaves would lean this one right now is leaning towards me because like i watered this today and i noticed it's leaning towards the light so i just have to rotate it to get this um spine a straight spine 
what is going on in here more um recovering milton yopsis in the semi hydro more fall in there that one's making leaves this thing this one i had to cut the leaves there was looks like a bad infection just like that one in there this one if this one this marking in it would grow take over i'll cut and cut that too wait okay what else oh no okay i have to pause for a while and get something else and look guys i can't forget about her she's fully bloom she's fully bloom like this like maybe a month now and i'm not sure if she is really fragrant because um right now right now i can't smell it but there there is one time that i was watering her like late late morning i think and it's um i smell something that looks like the smell of my i um, mean it smells like my dendrobium farmeri and i sniff her it looks like it smells it came from this flower but I, after that one i keep sniffing and sniffing i hadn't get the same scent again so i'm not sure if that came from this flower but at that time it was it was sniffing and it was from her but now i didn't detect it no 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 scent. so i'm not sure if it's just scented or what and i look at in the internet i did not see anybody that said that has sent as well so i don't know i don't know maybe it was my brain praying i mean playing tricks on me but it was just really fragrant it's just like my dendrobium farmer eye but i'm not sure maybe in the next time when it this one blooms we'll see but she had a very straight like um tall this is um fall for Kirima Alba species Phalaenopsis. Look at that, huh? Look at that. It's so gorgeous. Focus. You'll be gorgeous if the camera focus. This is a joke. Oh my god. I'll cut it for a while. I forgot about this too. This is uh, another cymbidium that I separated from the rest because of the questionable leaves pattern. I thought they're diseased or something, but it's been growing. Uh, it's been growing uh, new babies. This one has three babies. One baby here, second baby, and the third one over there. Yeah, the cymbidium Susi Q. It is Susi Q? Yes, Susi Q. Oh. Look at my uh, terrestrial orchid, the uh, ground orchid, Chinese ground orchid. That's one of the three. And this is my anusmum, dendrobium anusmum. The, the babies, it's getting taller, taller and taller. Got nice roots in there. Need to water it later. Look at that growth. I think I leave it like this. Okay, guys, I have to say goodbye because the video is too long. This is part two. I'm sorry. I hope you enjoy my art tour. Thank you for watching. Bye.